Okay, before we get started with the video, I just thought I'd throw this image in uh, and show you kind of my little Theta um, test bed. Uh, it's weird to uh, see Windows running on a Mac. It's actually kind of disturbing, but um, up in the upper left-hand corner, there's Parallels running the uh, the Theta uh, Edge Worker. In, in the background, it's uh, the Theta Edge Worker running on the Mac. But this is one way to do some testing as well as get around some issues with the M1. And so I just thought I'd uh, throw this in there before. I hope everybody had a, uh, a good Tuesday. I'm doing this Tuesday night. It's 17 hours before uh, Theta 3.0 mainnet is going to be launched. And I just want to go over a few things that I found that might be helpful for you so you don't run into the same issues. Um, if you have staked your Theta um, against Gpool or any other uh, guardian node, um, staking the T fuel will be very similar to that. And I don't think I'm going to get into staking tonight, um, but I just kind of wanted to give you an overview of what you might expect for tomorrow in 17 hours, 9 minutes, and 53 seconds. So, first thing I wanted to say was I'm really disappointed because. Um, I have a few Macs that are M1s, and I have a few Macs that are Intel-based. And right now, it looks like Theta is not going to launch their um, T-Fuel uh, Edge Node software that will support the M1. It will do some of the functionality, but it cannot find the correct wallet address it just kind of errors out of the back and there's not much you can do except do a virtualization for that i don't want to get too much into that because it may go over a lot of people's heads but um, the virtualization that you would need to use is not virtualbox which is free from oracle um, because they do not support the m1 chip either so i am running some virtualizations on my m1 uh, M1's uh, Mac Minis, and that's how I'm kind of getting around, and I'll give you some more data later on when I uh, have some data to give you about that. But the first thing that we want to cover is that the Edge node um, that is currently in beta is going to go and be released tomorrow, uh, which would be June 30th at about 12 to 3 somewhere in there. It's very similar. I will put out a video on how to stake your T-Fuel. It should be pretty straightforward. Um, you're going to get a summary from the software that you're going to be running on your computer. The other thing to know is that um, this is kind of how you, it will look when you go into your wallet um, to do the staking. You will not stake like you did earlier if anybody was participating in the edge node you put the address right into the um, software that you're running on your computer and that's how it staked now you're going to go into the theta wallet and you're going to select edge node and that's how you're going to stake your t fuel just fyi there's a 60 hour unstaking period for your staked tokens so just know that i know um it was 48 hours and it looks like they've they're pushing that off uh, a bit more to 60 hours so if you think you're going to sell just make sure you leave 60 hours in there to unstake your t fuel and or your theta the other thing that i kind of wanted to go over was there are some um connection issues when you are connecting to the wallet. Um, they've switched things on Chromium-based. Um, yada, 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 you've probably heard a lot about that. And so here are some tricks and tips when you are going to connect to your Theta wallet to stake your T-Fuel, or frankly, your, um, your Theta. So, Right now, use Firefox. 
you can't use Safari, you can't use Edge, yeah, Chrome or Brave, um, Chromium-based uh, browsers really aren't going to work because of the release of 91, and I'm not going to get too far into that. But use Firefox. Make sure you update to get the latest version of Firefox, and that would be uh, much easier for you to uh, to do that. The second thing is make sure your Ledger, Ledger Live, your hardware wallet, all the apps are up to date. Um, it's important to keep things up to date because companies write their code for updated software. If you have other things connected to your computer, disconnect multiple uh, ledgers. Um, if you have a treasure on there, and I found even like a YubiKey, a YubiKey um, is like a hardware wallet. It, it's very similar uh, to your ledger, and so there can be some confusion on the computer on what uh, device it's looking for. So just pull those out. Make sure your Ethereum app has the contract data set to allowed. If you're not sure how to do that, um, there are plenty of tutorials out there to do that, but it's in the settings on your ETH app on your ledger. And if you're still having issues, and this happened to me tonight um, as I was testing things, that don't just unplug your ledger. Um, go ahead and unplug your ledger and physically turn it off. So that means you go into, or where you click both buttons and you hold it until it goes to the control panel. And then I think you click over two or three times and it says power off, click both buttons and let it power off for about 30 seconds before you bring that back up. Um, that does clear some things that get stuck in there. I found that that clears um, some issues that I found just on my own with just random things like this wallet and wax and other things. So powering it off does clear the memory on that and it, it does solve some issues. So those are some uh, tricks and tips on using your ledger with the, uh, the Theta wallet. Now there's Let's go back. So here is the article. Uh, I'll leave the links for these articles in uh, uh, text down below so you can read through them. Here's setting up your edge node. Um, it has a lot of documentation for the, um, the theta side of things, um, whether it be a, an edge worker or a guardian or uh, a wallet. Um, there's some good fun reading if you like to do that type of thing. So because the Apple, if you have a new M1, which I recommended, and I kind of feel bad because, well, they're not going to release it and it's not going to function with the M1 right now. They are working on it. Um, I heard a little bit back, but not that much. So I don't expect it to be functioning with the M1 tomorrow. But what you can do is you can go to gpool and you can stake your tfuel there. I would recommend that um, for anybody that wants to. Um, the, the guys over there at, uh, at gpool are a, a great bunch of guys. I was talking to D earlier this week and I wanted to get more information about what's going on and he is busier than I am and he had no time to talk <laughs> and he didn't say that but uh, our conversation did not last that long so hopefully we'll get him in after things kind of settle down a little bit and he can inform us a little bit more about what's going on at gpool um, you can see you can stake your persistence over at gpool now and the T fuel stuff will be coming online um, hopefully sometime tomorrow. So if you have an M1 or if you don't have a computer, you can stake over at gpool. The, the thing that uh, I just want to say is I think it's really important to keep these blockchains um, strong and vibrant. And so, yeah, you can stake over at gpool, but you're going to be missing some of the things that um, make a, uh, a product, a blockchain really important. And that is, let's have many nodes that are throughout the world in people's homes and their offices. And so when you're running a small computer 
or a big computer, um, and you are running the edge node, you're really helping the Theta network. Uh, and you're also going to be earning some um, rewards for that. And let me see if I can pull that up. Oh, I don't think I got it in time. There was, um, this is the uh, Theta Edge worker. It's still in beta. They uh, they may launch something and throw something out there tomorrow just before the launch. I'm not sure. Um, but for all of you that do have the M1 and you don't know why it just keeps on saying fetching um, uh, wallet, this is where you're going to have the randomized wallet. This um, address is created by the Theta Edge worker. It's not tied to your ledger or your private key or anything like that. It is tied to itself. So as you can see, this Edge worker has its own summary. So I could stake my T fuel against this Theta edge worker and I would just need to keep this one up all the time I'm not going to it's on my main computer and it does take some CPU away from my day-to-day -day, uh, working environment but that is a possibility that you can just run this on your your desktop now one of the things that I think is really cool is that you can have the edge cache you can have the edge compute um, these are going to be uh, pieces of the Theta Edge Worker where you can earn extra T-Fuel for sharing your bandwidth, um, sharing your uh, CPU processing. Um, you know, this will compile video. It will, will just do some, some cute computing that Theta um, sells to companies because we get a piece, we get a small chunk of T-Fuel for sharing our CPU. So I really don't do the watch broadcast that much, but the, the cache compute, you can definitely um, you know, earn some extra T-Fuel for running this 24 seven. So if you are gonna use the Theta Edge Worker, um, make sure it's gonna be on a computer that you can run 24 seven because it needs to stay up. When you stake, you will take your summary here and you will go to the wallet and you'll put that summary in. So that's kind of it right now. I uh, just wanted to give you uh, kind of an update, um, my sense of it and uh, you know, unfortunately the, uh, the M1 is not gonna be supported on launch. So more uh, information when I know more. Thanks a lot guys, have a great night.